Relative velocity lesson one, parallel motion. This will be by far the easiest subsection that you will learn from uh, relative velocity. Okay, it is something very easy, something very easy to visualize, very easy to understand. Okay, and in fact, it happens to us almost every time we are traveling on the road. Okay, every time you're traveling on the road or on the train, you see uh, a moving object or a moving vehicle rather. Okay, pra traveling in the same direction, parallel direction as you. Okay, this is what is going on. Okay, we're gonna um, see how are we gonna tackle questions like this. The best way to learn this parallel motion type of questions is through an example. Okay, so this just uh, go straight into our first example. Right, example one, moving in the same direction. Two cars, red and blue, are traveling in the same direction due east with speed of 80 km per hour and 100 km per hour respectively. Find the velocity of the blue car relative to the red car and find the velocity of the red car relative to the blue car. As per what we have discussed in the in introduction, that um, the velocity of the blue car relative to the red car simply means in the red car's perspective, how does the blue car travel? Okay, so the whole idea is that you are the red car. The red car is the observer, and how does the blue car move as observed from the point of view of the red car? Okay, bear in mind that um, the, the example that we talked about was that uh, relative to us on Earth, we'll see that the sun is moving. Okay, so it's relative to us. So we'll think that we are not moving. Okay, so just what this question is all about, let's just take a look at uh, what it means. Alright, we have a red car that's traveling at 80 km per hour. And of course, we have a blue car traveling alongside the red car at a speed of 100 km per hour. Now, this is exactly what we will see if you're on a helicopter. So, it's a helicopter view. Now, to find the velocity of the blue car relative to the red car, we first need to put ourselves in, put ourselves in the perspective of the red car. So we need to know how the red car sees the blue car. Okay, the red car's perspective. So according to the red car, which is traveling at 80 km per hour, and of course the blue car is traveling at 100 km per hour, but according to the red car, this is what happens. Now if you are in the red car, you will see that the blue car is overtaking you at a speed of 20 km per hour. Okay, so it won't see that the blue car is traveling at 100 because you yourself are moving at 80. Okay? Alright, so let us just come back to the question here. Alright, how are we going to even get started on this? Alright, the first thing we know is that the red car, we call it the VR, velocity of the red car. VR, denoted by VR, is equal to 80 kilometers per hour. Okay, now we also know that the blue car, which we denote by VB, okay, will be 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, now when we are looking for the velocity of the blue car relative to the red car, what it means is that we are looking for the velocity of the blue car relative to the red car. This is how we denote it, VBR. BR means the velocity of the blue car relative to the red car, which means that the red car here, the red car is the observer and the blue car is the object that is in view. Okay, so you are the observer, alright, you think that you are not moving. Okay, so we know from the previous animation that if you are in the red car, okay, you will see that the blue car overtaking you at a speed of 20. So the answer here, of course, will be 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, get it? It's quite simple. Right, you are moving at 80. The red car, the, the blue car, I'm sorry. The blue car is moving at a faster speed of 100. So if you are the red car, you will be seeing the blue car overtaking you at the speed of 20. Okay, it's the difference. So from here, we figure out how do we get the 20. Well, it's the difference here, isn't it? So we figure out that the velocity, the VBR is actually equal to the VB minus away the VR. Okay, which would be 100 minus away 80. That's how we get the 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, so this will be the first time they encounter an, an, uh, uh, something like a formula. Okay, and in fact, this will be the formula. In fact, the, uh, the entire topic will be revolving around this one formula. Okay, so you think of it 
as a formula. Okay, but before we go move on to the next example now, let's just try to figure out the next part of this example. Okay, find the velocity of the red car relative to the blue car. Okay, now we're talking about hey wait a minute, we're, we're talking about what? We're talking about the velocity of the red car relative to the blue car. Okay, which means that if you are the blue car, how are you seeing the red car traveling? Okay, so let's just take a look. Okay, so this is the blue car's perspective. So meaning to say you put yourself in the blue car, and this is what you will see. Now you will see that the red car is traveling backwards. Okay, so hold on, just take a pause. Alright, now take a look. Obviously we all know that the red car is not reversing. The red car is traveling at 80 kilometers per hour in the same direction as the blue car. But because now you're in the blue car, okay, and you're traveling at a faster speed, therefore you will be seeing the red car traveling behind, I mean traveling in the opposite direction because you're overtaking the red car. Okay, and therefore the velocity of the red car relative to the blue car will be negative 20 because it is in the opposite direction. Okay, so this is precisely what is happening if you're in a blue car and, and you know, you see yourself overtaking the red car. Okay, now how does it all work out when we need to show the working? Of course, you can show animation in your exams, scripts, right? So, let's take a look. Okay, the same kind, the, the same idea, okay, that uh, we talk about here. I will pretend that this is a formula. Right, in fact, we take this as a formula eventually. Alright, so, um, according to the formula, we will have the velocity of the red car relative to the blue car okay will be equal to the velocity of the red car minus away the velocity of the blue car okay so here br will be b minus r here rb will be r minus v and therefore to find this velocity of the red car relative to the blue car will be simply okay let's cancel away this question mark here will be the velocity of the red car which is 80 kilometers per hour minus away the velocity of the blue car which is 100 kilometers per hour okay and of course here you get minus 20 kilometers per hour okay so as we saw in the animation previously okay well this is precisely what's going on okay so um, let us if there's no problem I hope you are okay with this and we can move on to the next example